Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to After Effects Beginners Tutorial Series. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's get started. Now if you haven't watched the previous part, I would totally recommend it. So you can click here to watch it right now or you can click the link in the description below. Now let's understand the keyframe easing. So by default you know that the keyframe generated by After Effects are linear. So you can change them by simply selecting any of the keyframe. So let's select this keyframe and I can just right click, go to keyframe assistant and from here you can see we have these three type of easing. So easy ease is the most common type and you will be using this the most. So if I select it, you can see that now our keyframe has changed. Now it has turned into a hourglass kind of shape instead of a diamond. So now we have changed the keyframe and, and you can see that now our animation has changed. Now in the beginning it is moving at a constant rate and as this keyframe comes in it slows down and after that it moves very slowly in the beginning and then it gradually increases its speed. So you can also visualize this by simply selecting all the keyframes and then you can click on this icon and it will take you inside the graph editor. Now graph editor is one of the most powerful tool in After Effects so you can use it to manipulate your animation. So now you can see we have this kind of graph. So let's understand what this graph represents. So if I zoom in by using this slider like this, now you can see we have this kind of graph. So if I change back to linear, so to change a keyframe back to linear, you can hold down the control key and just simply click on the keyframe. And now if I go back here, you can see we have the graph for the linear keyframe. So you can see that the value is just moving at a constant rate and it just changes at another keyframe just like this. There is no Bezier curve or something like that. So now if I select the keyframe again, I can right click, go to keyframe assistant and over here you can see we have this shortcut F9. So you can also press F9. So if I easy ease this and now if I go back, here you can see now the graph has changed. Now this is a speed versus time graph and if your graph looks different then you can change it by going over here and you can click over this and make sure that you are in the edit speed graph. So this graph represents the speed versus time. So over here we have the speed of the keyframes and on this axis we have the time. So as you can see at zero we have our keyframe and as the time proceeds our speed increases and it is maximum at this point and after that our speed gradually decreases and it comes to zero at this point and after that it starts increasing again and it reaches maximum speed at this point and after that it goes back to zero. Now you will notice one more thing if I zoom in over here you can see that the distance between these points is very large as compared to the points which are over here you can see that the distance is very small between these points so the more closer the points are the smoother the animation is so over here you can see that the square is moving very slowly and which is giving it a smooth motion just like this. Now let's check other Bezier keyframe. So I can select this keyframe again and right click, go to keyframe assistant. And over here you can see we have easy ease in and easy ease out. So if I click on easy ease in, you can see that our keyframe has changed its shape. And now again, I can select them and go to the graph editor. And now you can see it looks something like this. So now if I play back here, you can see we have this kind of animation. And you will notice one thing when we change the keyframe to easy ease in. You will notice that it only changes the path that is coming inwards and the other animation is still the same so this part is still linear and only the incoming values have changed so now if i go back and change it to linear i can just again go back to the keyframe assistant and if i easy is out this time now you can see that the direction has changed now if i go back here you can see that we have eased out our animation so in the beginning the animation is linear and only the animation that is going outward it has changed so it starts at slow speed and its speed increases at say time proceeds just like this now let's understand the hold keyframe so if i select all the keyframes and right click then i can click on toggle hold keyframe now you can see that the shape of keyframe has changed 
and now if i play back here you can see that it only changes its value when the next keyframe comes in so that means it's holding its value till the other keyframe comes now if i select the layer you will notice that there are no intermediate dots there are only five initial and final positions so it is only moving to these points and it is not going anywhere in between them so this is how you can create hold keyframes so this is the end of part 8 and in part 9 you will learn how to use graph editor. Now the upcoming parts are very important because they will help you in creating smooth animation and they will also help you to have more control on your keyframes. So you can click here to watch part 9 or you can click the link in the description below. So with that being said my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.